I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about conditions that commonly affect many of us, and that's neck pain and or low back pain. Those are incredibly common conditions, and they're so common that the statistics say that about a third of us every day have some sort of neck or back pain, and so they're really common conditions in the population. When we see patients with low back pain, one of the most frustrating things to patients is that we can't tell them exactly where their pain's coming from. They want us to say, aha, here's where the pain is coming from so that we can just absolutely fix that spot. It's what I call that aha moment. It's like, ah, here it's coming from, and they think we can just take care of it, whether with it's a medication or an injection or whatever it may be. But there are many structures in our backs and our spines that can be painful. It can be muscles, it can be ligaments, it can be the discs that are the cushions or shock absorbers in between the vertebrae, it can be joints that we have back there, they can all be painful. Unfortunately, medicine's not smart enough or good enough, we don't have a pain scan. So we're really stuck in that we can't always tell patients exactly where their pain is coming from. The pain can often be very disabling and tremendously limit limit patients in their daily activities. Some patients can't get out of bed uh, without assistance. They can't get off the floor. I'll have patients come in and tell me they crawled around on the floor like a lizard for a week. They just, I mean, it's very highly variable in terms of their presentation, but it can be very incapacitating. I really try and encourage patients that conservative treatment's the way to go and that most patients get better with time. Now, conservative treatment is a tremendously variable term in the sense that it's almost from what I would say A to Z. There's no specific treatment that necessarily works. There are very few treatments that have been shown to be the best treatment and the most common things patients try. And I tell my patients, you're welcome to try manipulation with an osteopath or a chiropractor. You are welcome to try acupuncture, massage. Sometimes we try various medications for patients. Rarely injections. Injections are not always great, particularly for just back pain or neck pain. And rarely, though, do patients need surgery. What I try and tell patients when they present with neck pain and low back pain is the first thing I try and do is reassure them that it's very common, that it's mostly self-limiting, meaning that almost everybody gets better, and that it may just take a little longer than they would like. Patients think, oh, I just have a cold, I'll get over my cold in a week to 10 days, oh, my back hurts, I'll be better in a couple of days. The studies show that the average back strain really takes about eight to 12 weeks to improve, which is a lot longer than most patients will like. Now, some patients are different, some patients are better a lot quicker, some patients take even longer than that. But most of the time, it's self-limiting, and it can be taken care of with conservative treatment, and many, many, many patients do not require any type of surgery.